Welcome back to our conversation with the new president of the Boston City Council, third term councillor Ed Flynn of District 2 in Boston. And uh, councillor, uh, I mentioned before the break, you have a lot of immigrants in your district. You work closely with them. Your, a lot of your Twitter feed is, is in multiple languages. What do you think is the best way to increase their vaccination rates? And, and do you think uh, Mayor Wu's new proof of vaccination mandate for public spaces will help, hurt, or have no impact on their uh, uh, willingness to go get vaccinated? You know, working closely with the immigrant community is critical, especially during this pandemic. Communicating with them in their language, providing them with the relevant um, medical and public health information, but more importantly, treating them with respect and dignity and providing them the services that they, they desperately need. Um, I represent the largest um, immigrant community in the city. I represent the largest number of residents living in public housing. Um, so I'm proud to work closely with the immigrant community. We have a lot of work to do left in support of the immigrant community. We also see a, a rise of anti-immigration feelings in greater Boston and across the country, including against the um, Asian community. But it's all. But it's about working together as a city council, working together with the Wu administration in making sure that the immigrant community, our neighbors, are included and have the relevant information on vaccinations, on um, on public health issues. What about the new uh, requirements for uh, showing proof of vaccination for access to a, a wide range of spaces? Good idea? I think it's a good idea. It, during these difficult times, during a, a pandemic uh, that we've been in for two years, we need to make drastic decisions like that. And at this difficult time, that type of executive decision is needed. We need to protect our residents. We need to protect our seniors, persons with disabilities, um, in making sure that people have vaccinations, they have the booster shot, they have the relevant information to be, to be safe and healthy, uh, face coverings. Um, also, food access is part of it as well, John. What do you make of this backlash against uh, the vaccine mandates among some public employee unions? I have, I have great respect for the public employee unions. They do an incredible job in, in our city, um, police, fire, EMS. But I, I do think that our city officials need to be vaccinated so that they continue to provide ex exceptional services to the residents. They're interacting with uh, residents all day and for their health and for the residents' health. I think it's, I think it's important to do um, I know there's people have differences of opinion. I respect people's uh, um, opinion, but in the final analysis, I, I do support Mayor Wu's um, decision on that.